Rod and reel combos are great for beginners because it takes the guesswork out of matching a rod to a reel. Once you have your combo, it's important to learn all of the parts so you know how to properly use and maintain it. Starting at the top of the spinning reel, the drag system is what adds or removes tension to your fishing line. The knob on top of the spool allows you to increase or decrease your tension. Having this adjustability can be helpful when you're fighting fish. Loosen the drag and it gives the fish more control. Tighten the drag and you have more control and more tension on the line. Just beneath the drag adjustment knob is the spool. This component houses your fishing line and is specific to your particular reel. When you reel, the spool itself is not spinning, but the line is spinning around it, and this prevents tangles on your line, so you have smooth casting and releasing. The bail serves two essential purposes. For one, it's the casting trigger. To cast your bait, you must open or activate the bail for the line to spool off properly. The second function of your spinning reel's bail is to keep everything orderly for smooth casts and retrievals and prevent knots. Your spinning reel can change from a right hand retrieve to a left hand retrieve by unscrewing the knob on the opposite side of your handle. When it comes time to clean your reel, simply remove the spool, clean and lubricate as needed. Now let's move on to the rod. The top of the rod is often the most fragile part. It's also the first part of the rod to twitch or vibrate when the line is taken by a fish so it's important to keep your eye on it. The guides or eyelets run the length of the rod and help the line flow from the reel to the tip of the rod. They reduce the chance of the line tangling when casting or retrieving. The hook keeper is a metal ring affixed to the body of the rod where you can hook your lure when not in use. The site of attachment of the reel to the rod is called the reel seat. Most rods have a set position for one end of the reel seat with a metal or plastic piece that'll screw up or down to secure the reel in place. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Take Me Fishing YouTube channel. And for more helpful fishing tips, visit takemefishing.org.